It's Magnuson. Apologies for my sudden absence. There were circumstances beyond my control. I understand you have possession of the holotape you were sent to retrieve. Good. Victory is within our grasp. Soon we'll have constructed the supercomputer and shall have control over atomic rain. But first, a brief field trip is in order. Is something wrong? Let's just say I was feeling unwell. But it won't be an issue again. I've you implemented a number of safeguards. Home. Field trip? Yes, there's information you need to be made aware of. Your partner, Jake, is waiting for you at the Museum of Freedom in Concord. Hurry over and meet with them as soon as you're able. Once you've arrived, I shall explain further. Goodbye for now. Ah, uh, there you are. Got some good news. With Magnuson's help, we deciphered the holotip we found in 111. We can now make more advanced ASAMs. In fact, I already built one. Saying that, and I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but between you and me, I get a little tired of all this mystery and intrigue. Sure, he's helping us, but I wish Madison would just stop drip-feeding us stuff. Just tell us everything we need to know already. So we can get on with things. That is precisely why I asked you to come here. Oh, the Doctor! I didn't realize you were... Uh, wait, how are you... <laughs> didn't mean to startle. To make our discussion a bit less cumbersome, I've commandeered what remains of the museum's PA system. And, considering what it is I have to say, I thought this museum an appropriate venue. Now, shall we begin? Please do. The reason I asked you here is, well, there are certain topics I've avoided discussing or have intentionally sidestepped whenever you made mention of them. But before we go any further, these topics are things you need to know, and I believe that I... I can now trust you with this knowledge. So, to that end, I shall reveal to you who it is that employs the Gunners. But before that, I must explain to you about Project Selene and the Ingram tape technology the Gunners seek. Who are the Gunners working for? I can tell you're eager, and I will tell you, but... What can you tell me about this project? Yes, Project Selene. Many saw the end of the world coming, and many made attempts to preserve something of what was. Be that resources, data, people. My attempt was Project Selene. A self-sustained habitat for humanity, built upon the surface of the moon! A lunar colony! I knew I could do it! I just needed funding so I could develop the technology to pull it off! That's where Robco came in. With their financial support, I successfully developed the tech that would guide the construction of the lunar colony's complex infrastructure. You're, you're talking about ASAMs, aren't you? So that's what you made them for. Yes, ASAMs. It's with Robco's backing that I was able to create them. Real ASAMs, mind you, not these phony baloney knockoffs you've been using. What did you say? Yes, that's right. The moon. Before you were born, Americans had already set foot on its dusty soil. And even back then, they knew it offered more than just a celestial nightlight or an out-of-the-way place to store an old flag. It took 83 years, but eventually, the U.S. was ready to stake a claim, to start colonizing the moon. Unfortunately, so were the Chinese. Kami forces had invaded the lunar surface, 
but the good old U.S. of A. already had a team waiting for them. My team. We called it the Battle in the Sea of Tranquility. <laughs> Hell of a fight. We won, of course, but it came at a price. The Space Administration had a change of heart. They deemed colonization impractical, too costly. They scrapped the project, covered everything up. That's when I decided to leave the space program, retire from the Air Force. I wasn't ready to give up. So I started Project Selene. What happened after that? At this point, Armageddon was still at least two decades away. Of course, I didn't know that at the time, but many of us suspected we didn't have long. I moved into the private sector, took whatever research jobs seemed interesting. Cryogenics, plasma-based propulsion, ingramic digitization. Whatever I thought might be useful for Project Selene. Eventually, once I'd compiled enough research, I brought my project proposal to Robco. It sounds like you were really making a difference. If events had transpired differently, perhaps I could have made a difference. However, before I could even construct a rocket to launch the first payload of ASAMs to the lunar surface, Robco double-crossed me! They cut my funding, took the ASAMs, and kicked me to the curb. Cut adrift, and with time against me, I sought salvation from a devil. In order to salvage Project Selene, I made a deal with Vault Tech. They got my project back on track and facilitated the production of the Ingram tapes. Can you tell me more about this technology? The Ingram tapes were my answer to managing something as sophisticated as my project Selene. Initially, I tried using computers for the task, but they lacked the ability to solve problems creatively. After that, I tried robots, but operating individually, they simply weren't clever enough. And when networked, their personalities became unstable. So in the end, I settled on using an AI. It presented the best option, and lacked the drawbacks of the previous methods. Hold on, AI? As in, in artificial intelligence? You sure don't have fast things, do you? I needed the best, which is why I constructed the AI using a copy of my own mind. It took some time, but everything I am was copied and downloaded to five tapes. These were the Ingram tapes. So what? So, I need you to understand just... Why they'd be so valuable to someone like the Gunner's employer. You see, collectively, the Ingram tapes hold the total sum of my experiences, knowledge, and personality. They're a virtual treasure trove of information. And as if that were not enough, the tapes are also the key to the operation of Project Selene. Who are the Gunners working for? Would it surprise you to learn that you've already met them? They're the ones who came to my rescue when Robco stabbed me in the back. <sighs> Return as... Hey. What do you think? As crazy as it all sounds, everything Madison said does seem to add up. Could be everything you said was 100% sincere. Or he might just be a master of deception. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Anyway, looks like Magnuson wants us to go to Olivia. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Come on, let's get to Olivia.
hostiles inside. We'll need to take them out. Magnuson here. You should be at Olivia by now. I trust all is well. Yeah, everything's fine, Doc. We're good to go. So this is where we're building the computer, right? To hijack atomic rain? Yes, that's right. We'll be utilizing Olivia's satellite dish. Before the war, I dispatched the comm hub here for similar reasons. Regrettably, the bombs fell before the hub could be connected. But let us not fixate on past failures. Instead, we should focus on assembling the supercomputer. That is, if your chief is ready. Let's get this thing built. Indeed. Let's get started. Mr. Evans, you brought the enhanced ASAM I requested you fabricate, correct? Oh, uh, uh yeah. Got right here. Good. Now, this may be a tad more complicated than you're accustomed to. Nonetheless, I'll guide you as best as I can. First, take the improved ASAM and position it on a nearby surface. The sensor should then scan the vicinity for equipment and materials we can utilize. <laughs> this ship brings back memories. Here, catch. Seems only right you should be the one to do the honors. I'd appreciate if you didn't toss around the delicate equipment. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. Put the ASM down on that desk there. Seems the best place for it. Close attention, adhere to my instructions, and we'll have this supercomputer built in no time at all. Come on, can't quite get this recorded. Ah, there. One satellite control and supercomputer made to order. I think we're done. Whew. That was definitely more complicated than using a regular A, Sam. But still, surprisingly simple. Madison sure came up with something special when he invented ASAMs. They really do allow you to build some miraculous things. I really don't care. Well, speaking of, we were meant to contact the doctor when we were done working on the computer. He said there's still one thing left to do. But before that, I was wondering if we could take a moment to talk. Sure. Tell me what's on your mind. Well, it kind of feels we're coming to the end of things, don't you think? Once we turn this computer on, one way or another, the war's gonna soon be over. I suppose I was just thinking, knowing what you know now, if you had the chance to go back to when we first met, would you do it all again? You know, Ace and Selmans, taking on the Gunners, forming our own group. 
putting up with Aiden. Knowing how hard it's been. Would you still choose to do it all? I wouldn't have it any other way. I suppose that's why you're the one in charge. <laughs> if only we could all have your level of self-assurance. But you know what? Asking myself the same question? I think I would do it all again. And not just because of Laura, but... Because I've realized the hard times... They were reveals the kind of person you really are. And if it turns out you don't like what you're seeing in the mirror, well... Now you've got a chance to change that. The ability to change and adapt is a fundamental part of being human. Yeah, I think so too. I came to the Commonwealth to find my kid, but... I ended up finding a heck of a lot more. I found good people. A group that I care about. A cause worth fighting for. And I found myself. All because of the hard times. And also, I found my best friend, too. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I would do it all again. <laughs> so I, I kind of went off on a tangent there, didn't I? But I meant every word of it. Anyway, let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? Good idea. All right. Time to let Magnuson know what we're up to. That radio on the desk there should be linked to the doc's comm frequency. Use it to let him know we're ready to continue. You finished assembling the supercomputer, yes? But a few more steps, and atomic rain will be under our command, and the gunners will bother you no more. Everything is in place. It's ready to go when we are. Excellent. There's only one thing left to do. The supercomputer must be linked to the comm hub. Or array, as you now call it. Um, that might be a problem, Doc. You see, the comm array ain't exactly as horrible as it used to be. I'm not sure we could get it here. I know that. Did you think the use of an ASAM sensor in building the supercomputer was solely for ease of construction? I... well... um... Physical relocation of the array will not be necessary. The supercomputer's integrated ASAM will enable remote connection. Oh, of course. Right. Why didn't I think of that? Once the array is linked, I'll be able to broadcast Atomic Rain's access codes from my lab to the comm array. The codes will then be decrypted by the supercomputer before being relayed via Olivia's transmitter to the Atomic Rain satellites themselves. And then, we'll finally have access to Atomic Rain's nuclear arsenal. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Very well. I shall initiate the link-up procedure. First, I'll establish a direct radio connection between my lab's mainframe and the comm array. There we are. Next, linking the array to the supercomputer... And it is done. Verifying connection stability and... Hello. What... What is this? What's wrong? That noise. We shouldn't be hearing that. It's the ASAM boot up frequency. It's, it's a dummy broadcast used only during initialization. Calculates the position of all ASAMs and any connected radio signals. Oh, oh no! The Comray. Have you made any modifications to it recently? Answer me. Uh, no. I mean, when we found the hub, we made some repairs, swapped out a few components, then we rebuilt it into the Comray. Maybe installed an upgrade or two, but nothing recent, nothing you don't already know about. Software! Have you installed any new software? No, nothing. The only thing recently was a holotape recording from the gunners, but I checked it. It was clean. It was just a recording. A recording alone wouldn't trigger this kind of behavior. Unless... the parts used to repair the comm hub... Where did they come from? 
The, um... The... Commonwealth Regional Headquarters for... Uh, Voltec. They had this basement there, and, um... It was full of... Voltec! Of course! You used parts from their Comhub facsimile, didn't you? That explains how they did it! What? What are you talking about? The Comaray. It's been bugged by the Gunners. They've likely been monitoring our conversations ever since you inserted that holotape. How'd they do that? I suspect the vault Tech hub parts you salvaged for repairs introduced a security flaw to the Comaray. And that hollow tape from the gunners contained the activation command to exploit that flaw. But I checked the hollow tape. There was only a recording on it. No programs or activation commands, nothing. The command would have likely been a basic series of melodic tones or high-pitched pulses. Vault Tech always did prefer low-tech solutions. Are you in danger? That is a distinct possibility. I just connected my laboratory's mainframe to the bugged Comaray. If the gunners are even half awake, they'll have traced my radio signal by now, pinpointing my exact location. I may be in considerable danger. Okay, that's... that's not good. But maybe the gunners weren't paying attention. You could still intercept their communications, right? Find out what they know? Yes, yes, I'm already working on it. Stand by, I'm patching us in. It's the Alpha Golf. Ready con. Notify Captain Lamont. Magnuson's position has been. Final engram tape location confirmed. Case frequency. Repeat. Quick. Group's ready to start. Blast it all! The Gunners, Vault Tech, they've discovered my whereabouts. They know I'm in Quincy, and they know I possess the last Ingram tape. I don't know how they found out, but they know I have it, and they're coming to take it. You must help me. Of course I'll help you. Dr. Magnuson, transmit the atomic rain launch codes. And we could hit the gunners before- Don't you understand? It's too late for that! I'd bet eight of my twelve PhDs they're listening to this very conversation. I can't risk transmission. Even if we use atomic rain to destroy the gunners, by transmitting the access codes, we'd just be handing them over to vault Tech. And with those codes, they're more than capable of commandeering atomic rain for themselves. And they'd use those satellites to destroy us out of pure spite. Then, what do we do? How do we stop them? I say we attack. Hey, but that's what we're already trying to do. Listen, we can't use atomic rain. But you also cannot allow the gunners to get their hands on the last Ingram tape. If they deliver it to their employer, the entire sum of my knowledge would be at their disposal. And that includes the atomic rain launch codes. For the sake of me, yourself, the Commonwealth, and dare I say, the entirety of mankind. You must stop them. <laughs> no pressure, huh? A lot of lives are depending on us. I... I have a plan. But our line of communication is no longer secure. Return to your headquarters, and I will find a way to instruct you further. Magnuson, out! Come on. Let's head back to HQ.